Come on. Come on, D. D. Come on, let's go. Buenas. Puedo comprar marcadores? Los anchos y los, los pequeños? Necesito dos. ¿Permanentes? No, los acuarelos está bien. Para los hijos está bien. Los, uh, los la, uh, marcadores para hijos, para escuela. Ah. Suficiente está. ¿Cuál quiere? Uh, pequeño y grande. Ancho y los dos necesitan. Bueno. Uf. Ok. Um, pienso esto y esto. Está bien. Todo rico. Ya. Yeah. ¿Estas dos? Uh -huh. Ya. Yeah. ¿Bolsa? No, tengo mi mochila. Es bueno en dentro. Tengo amigos, lo siento. Tengo amigos que les gusta comprar las mismas cosas. ¿En 9 con 10 centavos? Bueno. Hey, Dee. What you doing, girlfriend? Oh, oh, esto. Come here. Oh, you little rat. You just bien mal. Gracias. 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 Chao, una buena tarde. A ti también. Gracias. Necesito poner mis cosas y mi bolsilla. Okay. Disfruta tu día, hey? Buenos días. Puedo, puedo comprar. Buenos, feliz año nuevo a todos. Gracias. Puedo comprar un litro de alcohol, por favor. Claro. Bueno. ¿Trajiste poma? ¿Qué? Poma. Ya. Yeah. ¿Tú tienes? Ajá. Qué bueno. Ya, yeah. ya le doy en todo. Okay. Gracias. Pero necesito pagar ahorita. Sí, ahorita. Hello. ¿Qué tal? ¿Cómo está? Bien. Ok, por favor, saludos a mi familia y fa Hola. amigos. Hola. 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 Feliz año nuevo. Hola. Aquí Hola. también. Feliz año nuevo. Gracias. Dos. ¿Cuánto es? Cinco. Eso. Dos con veinticinco cuenta cinco. <risa> Ahí estamos. Ahí estamos. Bueno, perfecto. Gracias por mi ayuda. Buenas. Ok. Necesita. Solo necesita alcohol. Un litro. ¿Cómo estás tú? Bien. ¿Y ustedes qué tal? ¿Cómo han pasado? Bien. ¿Disfrutar año nuevo? Sí. ¿Ya? Yeah. ¿En la ciudad? ¿Con los fuegos artificiales? Y, sí. ¿Y baila un poquito? Sí. ¿Ya? Yeah. Qué bien. Tres. Tres días para... Tres de la mañana. ¡Oh! Gracias. Ya sí, nomás acaba, ¿no? ¿Eh? Sí, sí, ya se lleva acá nomás. Yo ya. pagué. Gracias a todos. Ya. Chao. Chao. Goodbye. ¡Hey, bueno! Hi everyone, now we're back in the studio. We're gonna take our alcohol and we're gonna start having some fun with this stuff. We're gonna make a bit of a mess. I hope you're all prepared. So here's our markers. We have the thick ones and the skinny ones and we'll be extracting the ink out of those to make our alcohol spray or alcohol liquid that we can use to make our art. Here's some coffee ink 
that I bought earlier and you can use those in a spray bottle as well. They're perfectly terrific to make different kinds of colors. They're this, the cyan, magenta, yellow and black set. Here's the Batik egg dye and we are, you can use them in almost anything. They don't dissolve great in alcohol, they actually dissolve better in water. They leave little grains and they can block your, your uh, sprayer. I'm also going to be demonstrating using Intense Blocks and they also work better in water than the alcohol. So I would recommend those for those specific things. I bought these on a previous adventure in our local city uh, to find these sprayers. And I'm cutting down the length a bit of the tube and fitting it so it's ready for our spray. I'm gonna be using a syringe I purchased from our local pharmacy to load up and fill it with alcohol to extract the inks from the pen, the marker. To take apart a marker is really easy. You remove the cap, then you remove the tip, and then you remove the reserve and store aside the plastic to be used later. And now we're going to put the filter, the reserve, over the top of the bottle and just start dripping slowly the alcohol into the reserve. And you'll see it just drip right out and the filter or the, the reserve will become most likely clear. And you can use this all for later. You can even use the tips and clean out the tips with the alcohol as well using your a rancher or whatever to hold it in place so you don't get your hands monkey. You will anyway, but it just sometimes keeps the mess a little lower down. Remember when you're working with alcohol, try to work in a well ventilated place and look up your precautions on what you should be doing for handling alcohol. Not everything is as good as you think it is, so do your due diligence and make sure you prepare for the best. In a future video, I'm going to be showing what you can do with the, uh, the old markers. Uh, please don't put them in the trash. There's lots of things we can do with this stuff. We can repurpose this. And part of being an artist is being creative on how to do this. You're going to see that I've used two different markers, but they're the same color. So just to get more ink, I've used both markers. You can use dried up markers from kids at school or markers you've had lying around that you thought were dried out. Using the alcohol in it will refresh it if you want to use it more or extract it for things like using spray markers. As I said before, because I live in South America, I can't get some of the things that I'd like to try. So I had to find a way to do that. So there are things like dilutions and other things that I can't get a hold of, but I wanted to try them. So I created these spray, mark, spray inks to help me have that experience. They're not, if you're using probably, if you're probably using these uh, inks, you might find that these dyes don't last forever. They're not light fast. So make, you can make them with other materials as well that are light fast. But for, for art in general to play with, this is perfectly fine, or even in your journal. In a moment in this, in this little part of the film, there is a point where I'm going to be taking out the, fill the tip and I'll be extracting ink from there. You can use those later once they're clean in your project as for different markers. But it helps because there is a lot of ink stored in that tip. But let's just use it all in this, in this uh, spray and then we can use a clean tip to start later. You don't necessarily have to use the extracted ink in a spray. You can use it in a brush or you can use it in a pen of some kind or you can use this method to put in a different pen for later. It won't be as intense because it's got the alcohol in it to water it down but it works beautifully for me in a spray. And here I'm going to show you, we're going to squirt, there it is, there's some squirt from the marker. Okay now it's the copier's turn, the copier ink's turn and it works really well in a spray ink and you can also mix it up if, or for more intense colors with your marker ink that you've extracted. It makes beautiful colors and very rich. You guys won't believe how messy my hands are going to get at the end of all this. <laughs> uh, let's carry on though and uh, we're going to use a different, this particular company made two different colors of magenta 
So I'm playing with that, and yes, I am a inky pinky mess. The paper that I'm using is just copier paper so that we can see a difference in the intensity of the ink, but mostly I'm using about the same about the same quantity of alcohol to ink ratio. This is so much fun. I'm making, I'm gonna make with the intense here, a, a pink again, I'm gonna choose one. I'm gonna turn it into a powder and then I'm gonna put it with the alcohol as well. And we're gonna find that the alcohol doesn't mm, dissolve the uh, block and it leaves a little bit of particles and that can block the, the sprayer. So rather to use water with the blocks, uh, it works much better. But if we're gonna play with alcohol markers, you're gonna find that this isn't the best way to go. Yep, we're making an inky mess here too, and it sprays, but it, it doesn't spray particularly well because the particles are dropping to the bottom. The Batik egg dye also doesn't work terrific in alcohol, but it works fabulous in water, and I've definitely used, made a water spray and an alcohol spray, and both are equally as fun. Again, I kind of want to repeat that because these are dyes, as a rule, dyes aren't the best for light fastness and they may not last forever. But again, to play with or to decide to try this out before you buy a more predictable product that will last longer in light, this is a great place to start and it's also to let you have some fun. So here we're going to add some contrast color. I made some blue from a marker. and. I want to use this so that I could show you some different techniques that you can do with alcohol. We're going to play with the water too, but I want you to see, here I'm dripping it down and look how it uh, attracts the inks to itself. It makes these marvelous different textures and they make amazing backgrounds and journal backgrounds and different designs and you can do so much with this stuff. It's so playful. If you're finding yourself artist blocked, this is a really great way to find inspiration. So yes, you can play with the ink, but you can also play, play with the water. And you can have a lot of fun. Of course, you're not going to be very tidy when you finish, but use soap and water to clean yourself up and your surface too. I'm working on an area that is all about being an artist, so I don't really worry about making a mess on, the, on my desk. So far, D, or vitamin D, is hiding under the desk and she's not pink or blue at all right now. And I'm using the paper towel to clean up my mess rather than use her. Uh, she's into it, but I tell ya. So look at the cool designs I've got with this. It's fun, fun, fun. I spray painted this on tile. I picked up the excess with it and I just picked it up. That's how I got that texture in the background there. Here I'm gonna use some more copy ink to show that I can mix colors. I'm gonna mix the yellow and the magenta and I'll make a really, really bright orange. And it is, it's just really inspiring to play with this color. You don't have to just use the stuff right out of the bottle. You can use it, mix it, make many different colors. So we're gonna add our yellow into this and a little bit of orange, a little bit of magenta to make it orange. Slowly more orange, here's some more magenta in it and spray that. See how bright that is? That's amazing. And then a little bit of pure magenta, some alcohol, some playing with the paper towel, and now some blue. I'm not even spraying, I'm just dribbling it on because it's more fun. I have no rules going on right now and that's freeing me up a whole pile. Look at the background, it's just gorgeous. Some more alcohol, even it's drying a little bit, we're gonna make some streams and look how it's flowing down. It's not as great when you dry the paper to make it flow again. So, so far so good, we're making it happen. This is so gorgeous and the dog is still not all these colors. I've managed to control myself, so we're all good. And here are a couple of backgrounds that I've done in that in the spray inks and playing with the inks for a much more interesting mood and effect. Okay, really look at this disclaimer. Alcohol and other products with working with art supplies are important, so please use common sense and look up the materials you're using so that you have you can keep yourself safe and your family safe. 
So please hit the bell icon and subscribe if you want to get more information about art and art supplies. And hope to see you soon. Bye. Thank you.